This week would have been Hope and Gala week. An enormous amount of activity would have been focused on one huge tent down by the beach. Well, one huge tent with a couple of other tents tagged on. And those and more would have moved to the harbour for one night. Then at the end of the week the tents would be taken down, everything would be packed away and people would move on to whatever was next. Tents give us temporary spaces. Temporary spaces for celebrations, for holidays and for shelter. Temporary. They allow things to come and go. They enable change. Nothing is fixed forever with a tent, especially in a high wind. In the story of the Exodus, God rescued the Hebrew people out of slavery. They were led into the wilderness, initially with the presence of God leading them from pillars of fire and cloud. When God asked them to create a more substantial dwelling place for God, it was a tent. A very, very fine tent. But a tent, a temporary dwelling that could move as God led the the people through the wilderness. It would house the Ark of the Covenant. A very, very fine box containing God's words, which was also designed to be taken up and carried. God was with the people. God guided the people. And that was all done in ways that allowed them to keep moving. Being guided on a journey, learning about God and themselves. Not settling into comfort or complacency. If we look at the New Testament, we also find people on the move learning about God and themselves sometimes forced by persecution, sometimes called by the Spirit. Some people didn't move so much, but they welcomed visitors bringing God's words into their homes. Nothing was fixed. There was no settling into comfort or complacency. There were temporary spaces for celebrations and shelter, with a readiness to change as God called. We have very solid church buildings. Right now we can't be in them safely. We are forced out of their comfort in these wilderness times. We have had to change, to learn new things about ourselves. I hope we've also learned more about God. God who is with us every step of this and every journey. So can we let God guide us beyond the permanence of stones and buildings? Can we find the freedom that more temporary dwellings bring? Can we allow things to be just for a season, as Hope and Gala is, to be embraced, then moving on? Can we allow God to dwell with us and lead us on the move into new ways and freedom?